episode two of my cooking show starts now. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. My name is Taylor, and today we are making my famous, famous tuna salad, okay? And I don't, don't even start, because people always love it. Ew, tuna is so gross. Mayonnaise is so, no it isn't. Have you tried it in my recipe? I have the best tuna recipe, and this is not, this is not posted online anywhere. This is not, I did not copy this from anyone. This is my recipe from my heart, from my brain. My recipe, and it's the best tuna salad recipe you will ever make. So even if you don't like tuna, even if you don't like mayo, you need to make this. And it's also skinny as fuck. Do you guys know how skinny tuna is? Tuna, let me show you. Hold on. Hold on. Please hold. I got this tuna from Trader Joe's, okay? This tuna, tuna, 90 calories, period, 22 grams of protein. Tell me what else has 90 calories and 22 grams of protein? Nothing. Literally, tuna is queen, so we're going to make this tuna salad recipe. It's so skinny, it's so healthy, and it slays, and it's absolutely scrumptious. So, period. Let's go. I'm actually filming two cooking videos today, so this is going to be my lunch. It's like, what time is it? It's 1.53 right now, so this is going to be my lunch cooking video. But then for dinner, you guys, I'm making a Thai noodle recipe. You guys, it's going to be so busted. So I'm going to go to Trader Joe's later to get all the ingredients for this, so make sure you stay tuned for that video as well. Let's make this tuna recipe. Step one of the recipe, this recipe is also very simple, very easy as well. So, step one, just drain the um, like liquid out of your tuna and then put it into a bowl. And you guys know me, like I don't know any of the measurements, I don't measure things. Use however many packets of tuna you want, I don't care. But I know that I will eat this all in one sitting. One time I literally used three packs of tuna and I ate the whole thing in one sitting. You guys, that's like 66 grams. Is that allowed? Are you allowed to eat 66 grams of protein in one sitting? Like it was, it was a bit insane. So I just got two. I just got two packets just to, you know, be very humble to make sure I don't eat. Cause you get mercury poisoning. I was risking it all that day. I was risking it all. And you guys, I didn't even get my, um, my, I usually get a tuna wrap at Whole Foods every Friday and then I eat it in my car. It's like a vibe. Like if you don't sit in the parking lot of the Whole Foods and eat snacks in your car, every Friday night, like what are you doing? What do you do on Friday nights? And I don't get it. Anyways, that's how I live my life. But I used to get my tuna wrap and I eat it in the car. I didn't even get my tuna wrap on Friday to prepare for this moment. Okay, now that you have your tuna in a bowl, now we have to chop up all of our little, I don't use a cutting board. Okay, I'm not gonna wash a damn cutting board. I'm gonna use a napkin. Anyways, I use my little shallots. This is like a little shallot, it's not an onion, it's a shallot. And I learned that shallots are like sweeter onions so i'm using this little shallot and then we're going to cut up our um green apple into really small as small as you can pieces you guys like please don't bully me like i only have butter knives clean like my other knives like my ow my thumb i injured my thumb in football and it hurts really i can honestly barely function i um all my other knives are dirty they're in the dishwasher right now so please i'm gonna use a butter knife but you cannot bully me for it please i just had a kombucha my island mango kombucha so i'm a little bit turned up right now i must say but this is a pain in my ass. this a little shallot has honestly been sitting in my fridge for possibly like two months since like the last time i made tuna salad like I, is that is it expired like is it bad i don't know <laughs> like is this is this shallot bad like should i even use it whatever it's just a little bit you just need like a little bit of the shallot also onions are high fodmap so i literally i love onions i love red onions but they're high fodmap so i can't eat too many of them or else i will die i will die guys like honestly it's really hard to cut this stuff up with my thumb injury going on especially with a butter knife like i am down bad right now now the apple and the onion or the shallot are cut up in there and i have i use half of the apple but you guys the other half of the apple, you know what I'm gonna do with it? I have this plain Greek yogurt in my fridge because Greek yogurt has lots of probiotics, very healthy for you, and obviously super skinny, protein filled, protein delicious. If you cut up an apple and then do the, the plain Greek yogurt with honey and cinnamon in it, and then dip that, you can even do peanut butter too in it, and mix it all together, and then dip your apple in the Greek yogurt, peanut butter, cinnamon, and honey. It's literally delicious, and it's super healthy. Love it. And now I'm going to. Now I'm going to put my cranberries. These are sweetened ones. They like didn't have unsweetened ones. So whatever. How much sugar is in this? Oh my. There's so much sugar in this. Okay, but the unsweetened ones were literally like three times the price. Inflation, man. I mean, damn. Damn. Okay, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. So I'm just sprinkling some cranberries. Oh my thumb, we're just sprinkling some cranberries in there. I mean, it looks like Christmas. Wait, it kind of looks like Christmas. 
Christmas. <gasps> Bring this to your next Christmas family function. This is so cute. Okay, cranberries and then mayonnaise. I'm just using this one. And I don't know how much mayonnaise. I don't know. I just put it in there until it, it this looks like normal. So, oh. <laughs> Love that. Oh, I've also heard you can use, um, someone commented on my video that you can, God damn, that you could use Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise. Like, okay. I need to step away for a second. Like, I just do. Um, someone did comment that you can use Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise. So if you're trying to be a skinny legend, um, you can definitely do that, but I am going to stick with my mayonnaise. Thank you though. Thank you though. Now I'm going to cut the lemon with my butter knife. And this is really, this is really the, the part that really just brings it all together. You, I'm going to start off with, this is a big ass lemon. I'm going to start off with half of the lemon because it's like a big lemon, but you probably could use a full lemon if it was a smaller lemon. Now I'm going to take the same butter knife that I used to cut up everything else. I'm gonna mix it all together. Oh my God, it's looking so gorge. Okay, maybe that honestly was a normal amount of mayonnaise. It's like so cute. And you can probably put, should I put like salt and pepper? I don't know, like I don't know if I put that before, I forget. You probably like could slash should, but I'm not going to. Let's just see how it tastes. Maybe some pepper, maybe some, yeah, I'll add some pepper. But salt, like, is tuna already salted? I don't know. There we go. And you can eat this, like, obviously, like, with crackers and stuff. Or, like, put it in a wrap like Whole Foods does. But, like, I just eat it straight out of the bowl. Like, I just eat it straight out of the bowl like a damn animal. And that's the finished product. It's literally so cute and slight. Let's try it. Let's try it. I haven't had this in so long. I haven't made it in so long. Okay. Ready? Ready? This is so, like, I could eat this for the rest of my life every day. So that is my famous tuna salad recipe, y'all. And it is famous because when you try it, you're going to realize why it's famous. And just to reiterate for the haters, I did make this up myself. I did not see this online. This is my recipe. I made it up myself, so period. If you don't like tuna and if you don't like mayo, like, either try this recipe and learn to love it. Or get out. This is the best tuna salad recipe in the world. So, period.